I am Amy Galland of ALG Style and behalf of Dress, I'm here on behalf of Dress for Success New Orleans to interview Helena Moreno. For the like three people that don't know who you are, can you explain to our viewers today? Sure. Well, first of all, thank you so much for, for coming to my closet today. <laughs> and uh, I'm Helena Moreno, and I'm Vice President of the New Orleans City Council. We're in your fabulous closet. It's meticulously organized, which don't makes know about me, that. Yeah, well, it makes me a little bit giddy. Like just to, I mean, I'm gonna look at the t-shirts that uh -huh. are completely like folded perfectly <laughs> behind us. So, how would you define your style. So mm -hmm. I feel like you have might have like two personalities. You may have the on camera political mm -hmm. and influencer personality and you have like I'm at home watching TV personality. What yeah, how would sure. you define your style? Um well I would say and, and my staff always talks about this, um <laughs> I'm I'm big on the blazer game. Okay. I, mean, I just think that that's like super easy because you can put on a dress, you can put on a, a pair of pants and a shirt, throw on a blazer and mm -hmm. all of a sudden you're professional, you're ready to go. You need to be a little bit more casual, take the blazer off, and you're also like ready to go. So, um, you know, that's kind of been my thing. So I've got, as you can see, just a ton of different blazers. A and, lot of jackets. And so like, I mean, I go from all over the place, you know, and look, I do have wire hangers, but sorry. And that, I'm Joan Crawford. No, no judgment. But, but like, <laughs> this is just like a little plain little Zara jacket. But um, with, with this one, I mean, I got torn into the legislature on this one. Um, this one here, this is um, this is a Dolce & Gabbana mm. jacket. Um, I met um, Kamala Harris for the first time wearing this jacket. And let me just say, I never pay for this type of designer wear full price. This is a real, real jacket because, um, you know, I just think you can absolutely find fantastic bargains for really high-end designers on the real, real and other sites like this. So I really think I paid like $100 for this, mm. for this jacket, which was like a huge bargain. It was still a little pricey for what I like to spend, but still. Um, Let's see. I mean, I've done. I mean, oh, I got to meet the um, the king and queen of Spain oh with my this goodness. one. And look, this is once again it's, just a Zara, Zara basic. Yeah, it's just a Zara basic jacket. That's my thing. I'm all about bargains, mm -hmm. finding great bargains, and you can find just beautiful blazers that are not really expensive, and they'll totally, in my opinion, just pop your mm -hmm. your your outfit, whatever you're wearing for the day. I can tell you that. Um, you know, when I first ran for office, people were like, okay, you have to get super serious. You got to wear the gray suit, you know, um, cut your hair short, you know, and, and always tried to mold me, mm -hmm. my style into something that, um, that I wasn't. And it wasn't, you know, very comfortable. And look, the first time I ran for office, I lost. Maybe it's because I... <laughs> Maybe it's because, you know, I wasn't necessarily being I don't myself, think that's you it. know, Maybe. but, but, hey, authentic you know? yeah. but, but it's like, and ever since I've been my authentic self, I've just been much more successful in, in my life and in, in, in politics. You know, I guess my style is the blazer look during the day and then um you know obviously at home i'm a big lululemon person i love fun t-shirts obviously like this is a big one make sure that you go vote um lots of political t-shirts i have obviously the biden harris there you go i've got um one for kamala they're so like perfectly folded it's Another like everyone for Kamala I mean I can go on and on with my political t-shirts I also love really just like fun New Orleans t-shirts so like listen to your city I can go on and on That's so you wear that so you wear your t-shirts with your Lulu your like whether I wear like Lulu yeah I might wear like Lululemon mm -hmm. you know like just leggings or something like that or just a pair of, you know jeans or something um let's talk about the tennis shoes though so I love all types of tennis shoes, um, big on Adidas, you know, okay, those are amazing. These are, <laughs> these are election shoes, as you can tell, they're, they're all ready. You got to have a little sparkle in your tennis shoes. Um, some more kind of fun. Just 
Oh, these are amazing. Collection shoes, right? So, and you're built for speed. That's right. You gotta you know? be ready. You gotta be, and you gotta be ready to bounce with these too. So, um, so you know, love tennis shoes. Pretty much collect tennis shoes and blazers. That's kind of <laughs> that's kind of where I'm and at. And some may work together. And they like, work together. Totally. Absolutely, totally work together. Uh, the other thing too that a lot of people don't know about is I compete. Um, uh, riding horses. So this is oh. one of my jackets. Okay. This one I wore recently at LSU. So I've got um, some riding clothes too. Um, my horse's name is Coachella. I didn't name him, but that's his name. <laughs> so, do so you yeah. dress so you could do like the Coachella look? No, wish, oh. no, no. As if I made with a horse. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> If you had the option, would you do a dress or do you prefer like a more casual like jeans? You know what's so funny? I mean, I realized the other day that I had not worn a dress since March. And so oh. I finally wore a dress for the first time to a beautiful event um, on Saturday, or Saturday <laughs> commemorating the New Orleans Four, which were the four little six-year-old girls who first went um, into New Orleans public schools and ended segregation. So, um, anyway, that was the first time I'd worn a dress because of COVID since March, and it was just, like, so bizarre, but so great, you know? Yeah. It's like, I forgot about what it was like to wear a dress. So, ordinarily, I would be more, like, still a kind of a jeans person, but I would wear dresses in the evening all the time, and mm -hmm. so to not be able to wear a dress has been so weird. I'm just happy that after all this COVID that I can at least still fit into my dresses. So, yeah, there, and there's you know, that. There's <laughs> that. Right, 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 right. Are there any fashion rules or style rules, rules that you break, like you don't believe in, I or totally any wear, you really live I by? I totally wear white after Labor Day. Yeah. I do not care. I will put the white jeans on in late November, like that. I have no problem with that. And I love a white blazer. Yeah, no doubt. Them. No doubt. You can call it winter white. So anything that, what do you say would complete your look? Like if you're having a bad day or need to like, put on the face mm -hmm. like you have to be Helena today is there anything that you put on especially with dress for success and how yeah how does it anything that put that empowers you yeah so are there certain colors that that I like that I just feel like you know they're that that more than anything they send a statement to others that they're more mm -hmm. powerful colors so you take the you know the darker blues the blacks the bright pinks the whites those are to me Mm -hmm. colors that kind of say something um, about you um, even a bright red a bright blue like I love that um, that make that that feel makes me feel more lift like more lifted mm -hmm. up you know and I think it, it, it it's more it's more powerful colors when other uh, others see it as well and I learned that actually back in my tv days you know it's like I just appeared better it seemed to me when I wasn't wearing like the pastels, but if I were wearing the more bolder colors. Mm -hmm. So I would say, you know, the more bolder colors. Would it wash you out? Like would you, would you Yeah, I felt a little bit more washed out. And just, just didn't, the presence wasn't as strong, mm -hmm. I guess is the best way to put it. But, you know, I mean, that's that's just kind of just my opinion on it. But, you know, I see, I see women look just beautiful in pastels. But mm -hmm. when it comes to me, I need kind of the more bolder colors to, to make it make it look like a stronger picture. There's a great rule. I mean, that's a great rule to fo to follow is to wear that pop. Mm -hmm. and it, but yeah, so I agree with that. I want to talk to you a little bit what I've noticed. I mean, you've been at this game for quite mm -hmm. some time now. And I mean, watching you, following you throughout the past few years, more than a few years, mm -hmm. um, how do you feel like women in politics or women in influence have changed their look mm -hmm. over time? Like we're going from Margaret Thatcher, Hillary Clinton, to now AOC, mm -hmm. and yourself as well. Mm -hmm. how, how have their styles of dress changed or have you noticed a change? Well, I, I think that um, women are just allowed a lot more um, freedom as to what to wear in professional landscapes, mm -hmm. you know, that it isn't just about like following kind of the trend of what men wear, which is, you know, now a woman has to wear a traditional, whether it's a traditional skirt suit or a, a pants suit mm -hmm. that you can, you can do more with your look, more with your style and still look powerful and still be professional. 
And so I think that that's what women have been showing now. It's kind of like being able to show their own style in the mm-hmm. workplace, which, um, you know, I, I think um, has really kind of turned a corner over the past several years. Thank you to Dress for Success for mm-hmm. all that you all do to, to help women in the workplace. It's so important that you feel ready to go, you know, when you're going to the interview and you feel like you're like, you know, you're wearing your, your, your powerful outfit and you're, feeling, and, and you're feeling really great and confident about yourself. So just really appreciate what you do. And I just continue to encourage people to find those bargains when you're out there shopping because they are everywhere. And it's like you don't have to spend a fortune to have beautiful blazers and beautiful things. You know, you just have to dig a little bit, uh, but you can always find them. And that's what I've been able to do. And, and, yeah. and that's what my closet is. Where, where do you look like before? Like, where, where do you bargain hunt? Yeah. So, I mean, I really look everywhere. I look from, you know, just shopping in, you know, little boutiques around mm-hmm. the city of New Orleans to also, you know, kind of digging around online to even seeing like, you know, just where my friends are buying things mm-hmm. too, you know, so getting recommendations from them. But like I said, I am not buying stuff full price ever because that's just, I just can't. I don't know. It's not like in my DNA, which actually makes my husband very happy. <laughs> <laughs> Good so, rule. Yeah, Good yeah rule. exactly. Thank you. I Thank mean, you. it truly is an honor to finally speak with you face to face. So I appreciate your time. I know you're a busy woman and I know Dress for Success appreciates it. Well, thank well. you. And thank you all for coming thank by. You. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. Dress for Success New Orleans is grateful to the many women who have opened their closets to donate power pieces. Now we are asking you to open your wallet so that our always free programming can continue to empower local women. And with your dollar donation, vote for your favorite closet tour. The closet host who collects the most donations will be named New Orleans Best Closet on December 30th at 8 p.m. Visit bidpal.net slash closet tours to donate now. Hey everyone, I'm Helena Moreno and please vote for me for New Orleans Best Closet. <laughs>